Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching Analytical Chemistry in English. Okay, so this lecture is based on gas chromatography. As from the name you can understand, here one of the phase is gas. Okay, so whenever our mobile phase is gas, then such techniques are known as the gas chromatographic technique. Okay, now the stationary phase. There are two phases, mobile phase and the stationary phase. So, stationary phase now may be of two types. Whenever it is liquid, okay, whenever the stationary phase is liquid, then the technique is known as gas liquid chromatography, okay. And whenever the stationary phase is solid, then such technique is known as the gas solid chromatography. Okay, now in the gas chromatography, the sample that may be either gas or liquid. It is injected in a stream of the inert gaseous mobile phase. It means our sample is either sample is gas or it is liquid. Okay. And then it is being introduced. This whole sample that is either gas or liquid is being introduced in our gaseous mobile phase. Okay. Mobile phase is gaseous. Actually, this phase is called the carrier gas. So, this sample is being injected in the carrier gas. You can understand this whole thing with the diagram. In the later part of the video, we will see the diagram. Okay. So, this is being introduced. Now, the sample, this sample with this mobile phase is carried out to the column. Okay. It is coming to the chromatographic column where there is the stationary phase. Okay. So, the sample's component will now this samples component will separate themselves between this mobile phase and the stationary phase that is present in this column. Okay, so there will be the distribution of the sample between the mobile phase and the stationary phase. And on the basis of their ability to separate themselves, these whole sample components will get separated out. Okay, so this is the basic technique of gas chromatography. Now we come to the mobile phase. All right, now see the mobile phase. Actually, the mobile phase most commonly that are used in the gas chromatography are either helium or argon or N2. These gases are used as the mobile phase. Why? Because these are chemically inert. Actually, we need a chemically inert species that will not react with the sample or with the stationary phase. Okay. Now, another thing that should you know is that there are two types of chromatographic column that we will see somewhat later. Actually, in the case of the packed column, when we use the packed column, then the mobile phase velocity, velocity of mobile phase is in the range of 25 to 150 milliliter per minute. Okay. And when we use the capillary column, this is another type of the column, then the velocity will remain, the flow rate will remain 1 to 25 milliliter per minute. So now we come to the chromatographic column. As I have told you that in the case of the gas chromatography, two types of the chromatographic columns are used. One is called the packed column and another one is called the capillary column. Okay. So first of all, we will see the packed chromatographic column. A packed chromatographic column is constructed of glass or stainless steel or copper or aluminium. Any one of these can be used to prepare the packed column. Now the column is filled with the fine particles of the particulate solid support. We will use particulate solid support. One of the example of particulate solid support that we are using here is diatomaceous earth. Why we use this? diatomaceous earth we are using it why because on the surface of the diatomaceous earth there are selenol groups present okay this diatomaceous earth on its surface actually there are selenol groups present it means SiOH type of groups are present on its surface these solid particles will get absorbed on this Cinelone group or this SiOH group. Okay. On its surface, the sample particles will get absorbed. When we are using the gas liquid chromatography, where the separation is done on the basis of the partition of the solute between the mobile phase and the stationary phase. Okay. So, two types of 
different types of the chromatography we can take whenever we are taking the gas liquid chromatography then the partitioning happens and when we are taking gas solid then the absorption on the surface will take place okay now see there are second type of the column that is called capillary column capillary columns are also known as the open tubular columns and actually these are constructed from fused silica this fused silica is coated on a protective polymer okay this protective polymer that we are taking and we are making the column of it and the fused silica we are coating on it the capillary columns are of two types one is called the wall coated as from the name you can see there is a coating on the wall okay wall coated means coating on the wall so actually there is a thin layer of stationary phase that is coated on the capillaries inner wall suppose this is our capillary and on its inner surface this is its inner surface here the stationary phase is being coated so this is called the wall coated another type of the column may be support coated in the support coated open tubular columns here what is happening a thin layer of solid support such as diatomaceous earth is coated with a liquid stationary phase and it is attached to the capillaries in a row okay it means we are taking a thin layer of solid support and this is being coated on a liquid stationary phase that is attached on the capillaries inner wall okay now we comes to the stationary phase one of the quality of the stationary phase is that it should be chemically inert okay then it should be thermally stable it should have low volatility and it should have appropriate polarity okay why we need polarity because by this property we can separate the solute particles okay so it should have somewhat polarity generally we take poly dimethyl siloxane as the stationary phase okay at at is this surface actually on the siloxane there are several methyl groups present these r groups are present here okay and these r groups are non polar so when we are taking this one then we can do the better separation okay actually the order of the elution of the solutes on the stationary phase is dependent on its boiling point the solutes are being separated according to their boiling points okay so we need their boiling points should be different okay a lower boiling point solute will come firstly okay a lower boiling point solutes eliminates first while the solutes which have higher boiling point will come at the last okay these solutes will eliminate at the last so on this basis the whole separation is done here another important property of the gas chromatographic column is the thickness of the stationary phase if we are taking a thinner film then the separation efficiency will improve okay so thinner stationary phase film thinner film of stationary phase is used to improve the separation when we are taking a thicker film then the separation cannot be done easily but when we are taking a thinner film then the separation efficiency is improved okay if you are seeing the instrumentation then the basic instrumentation okay if you want to see the basic instrumentation of the gas chromatography then it will look like this okay this is the basic instrumentation you can see here this this is the carrier gas okay this is the cylinder of the carrier gas here the mobile phase is filled in this cylinder okay and here this is flow or pressure control and here this is injector at this injector the sample is introduced okay so the sample is being introduced from here one of the thing that you should note that the sample that we are introducing here should be volatile okay this sample should be volatile and a sufficient size of the sample is introduced from this injector in the mobile phase okay our mobile phase is coming from this okay this is the flow or pressure control rate from here the pressure is controlled of the gas here is the injector from here the sample is being injected so that this sample will now come in contact with the mobile phase and it is introduced in the mobile phase now this mobile phase with the sample will go to this chromatographic column our chromatographic column as i have told you may be of two type 
this may be either packed column or it may be capillary column okay now here the separation happens okay in this chromatographic column the separation will done and then this comes to the detector detector will detect all the things now there are some of the properties of the detector that you should know that the detector that we are taking should have low detection limit linear response it should have linear response to a wide variety of the solute particles okay and then it should be responsive to all of the solutes and insensitivity to change in the flow rate on temperature it means if we are changing the flow rate if the temperature is changed or any flow rate is changed then it should be insensitive to change in flow rate or any change in the temperature okay so these are the basic properties of the detector okay now there are three different types of detectors that are being used in the gas chromatography one may be thermal conductivity detector another type may be flame ionization detector and third may be electron capture detector so here detectors when detector detect all the things then this comes to here this is the data system and here we will get the chromatogram okay by which we can find out the data for all the types of the solute that we have separated so this is all about the gas chromatography or gas liquid and gas solid chromatography i hope you will like this video and if you have any query you have any comment you can comment me in our next video we will see size exclusion or gel permeation chromatography okay so hope you will like the video thank you